All right, Leah and I are out for an adventure. Down from the Alamo on Mission Reach, there's three other churches, yeah. right? And yeah. so we're gonna go visit at least a couple of them. We're on, a, we're on a time, so we don't have very much. This is the first one. It's, I believe, called the Queen of All Churches, right? Yes. Uh, because maybe it was the first, Alamo, uh, first mission built. Already it starts off really cool. Let me rotate. See across the way, look, there's some abandoned components of it. Now, I haven't been to this. I've gone to many of the uh, various missions in Czech, Texas. I believe there's 26 total missions, and uh, it, it would be well worth a little journey. Oh, look at so another diorama. There's a church, Father President's office, the convent, convent. and the quarry. And the quarry. Yeah. And these are the compound walls. The compound walls. Well, they would have been. Well, the quarry were right here, right? Yeah. So right there. Is that, really? Oh is that my where gosh. they they carved everything out of? Or maybe that's where it used to be, but it's not a quarry. Oh, may, you know, we talked about in the past how they would have built these things based on what the Native Americans would have done. Oh, it was the quarry. It was. How did that make all of that? It says it was the, the source. You're right in my video, baby girl. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgive you. Look at this, Leah. Now, come on here. So maybe at one time it was 80 or 100 feet deep and they filled it all in. And all that's left are these big stones. Isn't that something? Imagine from this, Leah, that they made that. Crazy. That is something. All right, so fairly large campus, and over here we're gonna start with the old uh, fallen walls. You think the whole thing's in ruins? I would think so. This might just be, you know, like don't touch anything. But your... look how good the stucco uh, cathedral ceiling is. I think they just left some or of it Or maybe in stucco, ruins. look how good stucco lasts. Yeah, that's true too. Mm. Oh, look, there's another well. Let's go look at the well. Okay. Well, my... My thought is uh, I definitely need to have a well in the main courtyard once I get done. And I think I want to drive a pipe and make it a live well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, just, uh, you know, poured cap uh, stone on top of stones that have been stuccoed. Nothing fancy other than maybe the wrought iron work. Uh, uh, people were hitting water at 40, um, 48 feet, and that's just normal water, right? Oh, okay. So um, the idea of some people are going 300 feet. Look at those corbels there to run oh, rooftop water. Oh, that's a water. great idea. Yeah, that is a great idea. Because I could do something similar to that. Yes. I bet you I can even find cement pads already poured for me. They have them so at, I don't yeah. Have, yeah, right? So we, I don't even have to worry about that. We had one at the Georgetown house by the, the water hose. We did. Was it cement? Yeah. I mean, this I is I've just really it. stately, isn't it? I, I, I'm really glad we stopped at this mission. They would have to put, don't climb on the walls, because I'm an old dude and I want to climb on the walls. If you were a kid, you would most certainly want to climb these walls. Yeah, that's really uh, inviting, isn't it? It is. Well, you can see that they did pour it out of there. Just rough, rough stone stacked up, glued. This used to be an arch, right? And then they stuccoed over the top of it. So 300 years, right? This yeah. is 300 years. The inside looks amazing. So yeah, see, I can do uh, these kind of hinges. They're just metal wrapped over on each other. I like that. Again, nothing fancy for the header. So this is cedar and it's lasted 300 years. If you would um, go ahead and put linseed on it every 100 years and, uh, you know, water seal it, man, it would last a thousand years. Love this thing. So even the spires are made out of those stones. You can see the spire and the belfry are made out of those little round lava field stones and then stuccoed. See it? You yeah. can see the, each individual stone up there. Really something. 
your favorite saints, huh? Uh, it looks you, like St. Anthony. I don't know. I don't know anything about Oh, and St. Saint Francis is the, the animal one. He is telling me about all our favorite saints. Mm -hmm. Oh, a prayer area. A whole prayer area. Oh, look, there's flowers. Leah does all the praying for the family, so I'll let her do her thing. Oh, this is a really pretty little shrine. You know, it's just a pile of stones up to a crash, but uh, underneath that pecan tree and surrounded by these palms, this is just really pretty. I don't know. I'm not Catholic, so I leave that all up to you. Ah, uh, you're not Catholic. I. You're uh, spiritual. I have my own. You know, like, I don't find it. I don't religion. have a church. But so I have this something. was definitely built to be defendable, though. Look how high the windows are, and yeah. you know everything about this says that, you know you could shut people in and defend this place. So the, there's an itty bitty little arch uh, like at the Alamo. It's like one of those shells. Entry through like the church through the. Yeah, it does. It does look like a seashell. I cannot believe they made this whole church out of those stacked stones and this stucco. I mean, man, you know, and then they brought in some sandstone. Again, everything needs to be water sealed, though. Even the sandstone is beginning to wear out Some where the water these, splashes. Look, is this all one piece and they just broke over time or did they make them? No, no, no. They're blocks. Oh, okay. And then Some they would of the have been blocks carved. Felt better than... Well, the ones low to the ground, it's the water splashing up that does it. And that's why a lot of buildings have granite as their base. But they wouldn't have been able to bring granite in. Yeah. So this needs to be restucco re more regularly. Or else you get that uh, erosion on there. When I do the earth bags, my two bottom rows will have higher cement con content than the other rows. To push down the moisture and then as water trickles on it, it won't erode on it. Again, the, the doorways, uh, you know, definitely kind of a vibe here in Texas, isn't it? The little sections made into big sections. Esta mission this mission and... I don't even know where to start reading it from, because maybe well, you start says, reading esta, from... Esta mission y... It's like D-E-F, defendant? The, Defends the faith. I don't know. I, I can't. It could be in Latin, actually. Span, uh, Spanishized Latin. See, but this miniature is this is what I want my courtyard to be when I do my garages, but in miniature, something that I can do. Well, this but would be nice for your class. I would like to do uh, arches. And all open. That's what That's I thought okay. as well. And then you know these little off buildings, like um, one for paint and fluids and oils and stuff, and one for grain and whatnot. I have to duck my head. Those things were five foot. He was in Francisco, so he saved you out there all the You did get it right. Again, the window's super high to defend. That's uh, seven or eight feet. Team logs. So the Franciscan friars served as the church's church as ministers, teachers, protectors of the Indians. Uh -huh. They served the king as explorers, diplomats, cartographers, builders, and scribes. The frontier missionaries, they spread the word of God in the language and the culture of Spain. I wonder if that's where we got our name Texas from. Oh, the Gans. Quahutacans? 
Obutakan Saga, I don't know. Small scattered groups, they took their food from the land and moved with seasons. They spoke distinct dialects and practiced religion. Threatened by warrior tribes on horseback and weakened by European diseases, many Kualkans accepted the food refuge offered by the missions. I betcha. If you were not an Apache or Comanche or Tawanka, you would definitely. Mission our architecture. Oh, look at that. That's like a vent, it looks like. Well, I wonder we were if occupied after we stopped being missions because why let a perfectly good building go to waste? That's a foolish knowledge to make. Uh, uh, so we're pretty sure this was a pot belly stove. Uh, I spent parts of my life on the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, so I kind of recognize those source marks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They and roughly, the crudely uh, carved it in. Right, so this wouldn't originally have had any smoke. Because uh -huh. this wasn't a living space, this was an office space. All right. Uh, this was a small storage room. That's why it has the loft in there. And people were much shorter. Uh, the men were 5'7". Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. So that's, I mean, the average man today is only 5'10". 5'10", yeah. So 5'7 uh -huh. is not that big. I know, deal. you're a giant. <laughs> but the, why the doors were small is the same reason that the church doesn't keep the big doors open during weekdays. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. Oh. It is cool in here too. Big doors it makes a big makes difference. Big air. Yeah. It is cooler in here than Oh I yeah. It would be comfortable. You would yeah. go into the Middle East, the buildings look a lot like this. Yeah. High ceilings, low doors. This is like the, the palace, there's you can go on either side. Here's the uh -huh. church entrance. Well they'll do the church entrance later. Let's finish okay. doing this one. So but some of it has fallen apart. It's like it's cut into a. I don't know oh, what shape yeah, is a little. That. Uh, the arch has got a little yes. uh, point to it. Interesting. That's really nice. It is. It's like a nice accent. It is a cool accent. Well, fun. Uh, hey, Ranger Cat. The, why are some of the why are some of the walls still left um, in ruins? Why is some of this church not restored? I mean, I'm enjoying it, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, the National Park Service is not in the business of restoration. We're in the business of preservation. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So this is as delivered to you guys whenever 1930s or whenever. It uh, no, been. we don't become a national park until uh, 1979. Really. Oh. Uh, we are the best preserved of the parks, mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and part of that is, do you see that pit over the there? Quarry yeah, the quarry is so quarry. cool. So if I have surface level limestone over here, what do I have over here? Surface level limestone. I see. We're not shifting, we're not shimmying, mm -hmm. we're very stable. Very It's why New York stable. City, with her surface level granite, gets skyscrapers. Right. And mm -hmm. Oklahoma does not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> where are y'all visiting from? Well, I'm actually Flatonia, Texas. So we come okay. down to San Antonio a lot. I've seen many of the missions, but this is the first time yeah, visiting first time. this one. Okay, so, but y'all have the same sand foundation issues we have down here in the Yeah, I'm all clay. I'm all clay. Yeah, so you have the same, mm -hmm. yeah. the darn thing cracks every 10 years. You're yeah. pouring concrete, yeah. you're pulling yeah. pillars, you're doing all the things, right? right. Mm -hmm. And that's for a regular old house. Yeah. That's why San Jose, she's fallen down a number of times. Her oh, dome wow. came in in 1836. I want to say it came in another time. Her bell towers come down at least twice. Really? Um, and you start getting into San Juan and Espada, and you start getting the same. Now they face stability issues even earlier on with building their churches to the point gotcha. they have to build it, and then it's like, <laughs> no, we can't go in there. <laughs> deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. Right. And we built, like, we start to build this other church, and like, it's a whole thing. And then my stonemason has an affair and shoots somebody else's wife, husband and uh, fails to trade a cow. I anyway, run, I run into that all the time. That's <laughs> funny. Well, everybody, humans are human, no matter what's <laughs> here. Uh, yeah. I think it's hysterical that I know that story about Espada. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, everybody knows that story about, like, all my locals know that story about Espada. But when people are like, so why is it called the Espada? I'm like, I am. Because <laughs> St. Francis wasn't a fighting saint. Right. San Juan was a fighting saint. Uh -huh. Went to the Crusades at 70. Mm -hmm. At 70, the only crusade I want to go to was like Dairy Queen. Right, That's the exactly. Only crusade I'm making. Yeah, exactly. Um, How fun. But it is called that 
And so even in the 1930s, when the WPA, the CCC yeah, comes in. Yeah, that's the WPA is why all these things got saved in the oh, 30s. Uh, okay. That explains it. Um, because ladies who organize. Yeah, exactly mm -hmm. right. Like the Sisters of the Republic. Yeah, right. That's and exactly daughters of right. uh, Dame daughters, of Texas, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right? Exactly. Um, so they go through and they rebuild San Jose because she's a state park. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. When they rebuild her, the 50s were a picturesque time right, right, right. in historical views. And the 30s, even more so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is why I have Olmos with chimneys. Right. Which I get yelled at about twice a month by some Navajo woman or Mexican woman that my Olmos is wrong. And I'm like, I know it's wrong, but I can't <laughs> fix it. <laughs> well, it, it, you know, it does give the the lineage of what they think. Now, is this the queen of all churches? I've read that about one San of them. Jose is the San queen of San Jose. Jose. Okay. Both for her size and okay. at the time her okay. beauty. Uh -huh. uh, she's built at the end of the Spanish Baroque era. Okay. When more is more, the Kardashian area, as I like to call it. Right. We're built in the right in the men, middle of the Reformation area. So we had this very smooth very reserved it is reserved it is reserved but there's um, a certain elegance in that reservation you have to think of the catholic remarkable. church in relatively recent to this it just got his hand slapped for trying to buy its way into heaven yeah i remember that You're right yeah, like martin yeah, luther yeah, has yeah. a whole conversation had a point he had a point i'm not saying he was wrong <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying maybe we're feeling some after you could buy a, buy a sin ahead of time <laughs> and right? then do it you know, yeah, that was... think about that uh, but that's why we're very reserved, we're very elegant. Now, we still have our original frescoes. Uh-huh. You can see where some yeah, of the... Yeah, I saw some original bone. painting. Oh, I missed them at, when we walked through, Leah. Uh, I missed the original yeah. frescoes here. You could see them. Oh, yes, now I can. Barely, barely. Um, I've got some red. I, I have, would have thought that was a brick if had you not painted it out. I've got Mary's blue flowers. Oh, oh so these walls oh, were painted okay. and, and like decorated. Right, I so, totally missed all of I that. Know. And the difference between paint and fresco is um, it's yeah. on the top of our nails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresco is minerals applied into wet plaster, so it bonds at the chemical level. So it's closer to a tattoo. Oh, yeah. Which is why I still have reds and yellows. I'm oh. so glad you pointed these out because yeah. we stood here and looked at these and, and totally even, missed it. Yeah. Totally okay, so missed it. So I'm going to go also in another little minute. Assume you're of a certain age, kind of close to mine. Yeah. And you remember those squint and see it kind of photos? Like it was oh, a yeah, pattern. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had to kind of, kind of squint you at it. You scared it for a minute and, and then you're yeah. something yeah. else. <laughs> so now that I pointed it out to you, you're going to see the red around the rose window. You're going to see the pink inside the shell. You're so right. Oh, Let me oh zoom gosh, in on that. that. This is the last room we think on this. Oh, you know, this could have been where the uh, friars would have stayed. Hey, look, his hat's my hat. I know, I'm wearing his hat. Let me turn it around. See, look, I'm wearing his hat. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Well, I don't have a spear and a horse, but if I had a spear and a horse, I would look even awesomer. Or... So that was, the, where we're standing right now was originally here. This is all missing. Uh, so we're here right now. So there it was a corral. The front of the church was the graveyard, which is not there anymore. This wall, I'm sure they've, they've entombed those folks from different places. Please don't open this door, please don't open this door. So where the doors are open, weirdly, it is a little more humid. It is very, it's... This, this room is noticeably more humid, so more ventilation, better. Yes. And the rooms that are open are surprisingly cool. Okay, this is the inside of, uh, what is this church here? Concepcion? Yes. It is. It's yes. Mission Concepcion. Yes. You know, I saw, saw a sign that said that. I should have remembered. So this has some frescoes still remaining. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but again, they're not finished. You can see where they outlined and never got it done. That's curious, isn't it? In 300 years, you would think... <laughs> they would have completed it. Or maybe it's that was a super light color. 
Because it looks kind of like it's colored all Oh, it could have been a white, maybe, with mm -hmm. some words. But I, I think it wasn't done. And then they made the arch of stacked stone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wonder what this big wall thing was originally. This kind of reminds me like they maybe they would lay out the altar, deceased. Like, yeah, or baptismal because that's kind of small. This is a baptismal. There's a baptismal it's over like there. Right. Maybe this was. Maybe for last rites, mm -hmm. right? Just, yeah, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. You know, there and it's cool and in the front of the church, maybe for last rites in there. And then that, that is an actual prayer. Oh, look, they have additional frescoes in here that are very interesting. The little circles that go around. Oh, yeah. Look at the Oh, my goodness. Look at that. What do you see? Oh, the... Too bad they uh, hacked a hole in it to put a... Is that to ring the bells, you think? The rope? Maybe they didn't hack the hole. Maybe the hole was always there. I'm thinking that's the bell, to ring the bells. Or maybe they hung a oh, lamp. Oh, a candle lamp. Yeah, yeah. Please do not write on the walls as if they needed to say that. Exactly. Oh, because you know what people do? They, I do. Well, no. Etch them. Listen, I saw a lot of graffiti. Oh, there it's is good. tons of graffiti in it. People are so rude. It what is. is it is. And Jesus is right there watching. Where do you want to be when Jesus comes back? Oh, the face in a church. No, a bunch of them, man, haven't been completed. They just haven't been. Something happened, you know? You can see the rough outlines there, the fresco's not. All right. And those buttresses, see, I don't, I won't need buttresses because, you know, my, um, having the connexes, things will be tied to the connex. The connex will be acting like an internal buttress. So I won't need any buttresses, but, uh, I've already talked about this, but I'll do it again, you know. This roof is over 300 years old, and you notice it's cedar, six foot, eight foot cedars onto a cedar post that I'm going to guess is 14 inches with a layer of gravel and then poured concrete on it. And if that lasted 300 years, then I'm going to use a similar design in my uh, construction because that's 30% of the way there. So that window from inside the church, you saw that it, it actually looked into the chapel. So that was probably a guy who was ringing a bell or something like that mm -hmm. at certain points, don't you think? Yeah. Like it had a particular function that was beyond just the norm. Because it did look into the chapel, too. Now, we can't go up there because it's blocked yeah. off, so we don't know, but we're just speculating. Oh, that is so cool. It really is. It, it really is. Just such a treat for the eyes. Ranger Cat uh, was pretty fun, wasn't she? She really knew what she was talking about. So I don't know, there's a door there, so that window and that door, the inside's not connected to the outside. So maybe it was a choir loft where a soprano would go oh, in and sing. The yeah, then there's, well, this is the main chapel where the crash was, right here. And that would be where that window in was. So I'm going to go with an acapella singer or something like that. But you know, they, they built this wall straight and high oh my gosh the the capability is it's truly stunning out of rubble a rubble wall and then they stuccoed it and it the darn thing is straight well the strings and a plumb bob is what they did and every row was checked they didn't mess around you know quality control now they don't well, your life would have been in on it, right? Because your scaffolding would have been connected to the wall, and if you messed it up, you're dead. So, but that roof there, that's 24 inch on centers, two by fours, that's kind of underbuilt. <laughs> I'm surprised the wind hasn't lifted it. 
It, I bet you it didn't used to even have a roof. That was open air. In the, that smacks of the 30s. It smacks of the 30s, right? Look at some they have the There's a bird nest that used the bird's ne a bird yeah. shewer to build his nest. Smart thing. There you can't stop. You leave the sparrows alone. They are here first. I think sparrows are very godly. Yeah, I love them. I love the little guys. They're messy though. 